Uh, now we've got a couple here who want some advice from us, so it's time to get the panelists' point of view. Joining us in the audience is Clara and her husband, Paul. So, Clara, uh, tell us what's going on. My husband, Paul, and I have been married for over 10 years, and we're having financial difficulty. I'm the frugal one in the relationship, and he is not. I'm also the breadwinner. Okay. So the reason why we're having these financial difficulties is because my husband has an obsession with purchasing socks, T-shirts, and underwear. Not only is this a financial burden on us, we have no place to store all uh -uh. of this stuff. It's caused a problem with the children. We also get into arguments about it, and as a result of the arguments that we have, he starts to drink. So my question is, can this be resolved? I'd like to talk to your husband. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> my question would just be, why is this so difficult for you to resolve knowing how much it pains your wife and knowing that this is really having a negative effect on your relationship? Um, you know, I'm kind of used to doing what I want to do and I get paid, I go to work, and I just like looking good when I go out and I know it's a selfish thing, you know? But well, those are on the inside. You know, I always, I always need a fresh t-shirt. You wear your underwear outside your clothes. <laughs> because we're, we're talking about socks and underwear and T-shirts, and then we're also talking about no relationship with the children. Yeah. So is the issue really about the stuff that you're purchasing, or is it really about the kids, or is there something going yeah. on? And You know, when we first got our relationship started, you know, it was just me and my wife, and, you know, I never really formed a relationship with yeah. the kids and everything, so they never really... We never really got a chance to get to know each other. And, yeah. Are you guys having intimate relations, if I can ask that? Yes, we are. You are? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to say he'd get more if he didn't buy his mug. <laughs> <laughs> work that deal out? <laughs> that might be a motivation. It might be motivation. Steve, you're way too quiet. Couple of things. You ain't took the time out to form no relationship with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. Are these kids boys? That's one boy, one girl. How old is he? 23. He's 23. The youngest. 23. One. He the one still at the house. Mm -hmm. The dude at the house got big problem with you. Yeah. Mm. You and him ain't right at all. Because yeah. number one, he don't see an example of where he trying to get to right. in you. And your mama done latched on to you. So now he mad. Mm -hmm. He mad all the time. Mm -hmm. Is that a true assessment? Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, how does the money work in this house? He gives me a portion of his check, and he keeps a portion of it. And I take it, and I make sure the household bills and everything is taken care of. I don't take his whole check, just a portion of it, half of it, to be exact. What dude in here got a family and get to keep half his check? I'm telling you, this is out of balance because of this dude. What would you like to see different? What would make you happy? I would like for him to stop purchasing socks, drawers, um, and T-shirts. That's what I would like. What else? For him to donate those or throw them out or do whatever, but just... And don't bring any more in. He what, has more what, than I do. What? That makes what no is sense. The, what's the fetish with the yes, draws? Yes, yes. Oh, no. What, what is it? Is this your time to get out of the house? Is this your time for you? Yeah. Is this your... Yes, I just, I just, I just feel fresh. I just feel fresh, fresh. when I when fresh. I put them on. You know? He feels fresh. It's like textbook, right? It's like textbook therapy. Okay, go when ahead. When relationships Kat. are are struggling, you know, it's like, oh, suddenly the toothpaste in the sink bothers you. Suddenly the dirty underwear on, uh, near the on the ground bothers you. This isn't about socks and underwear. Right. This is about he doesn't love himself enough. You think this momentary feeling of fresh is gonna make you feel better about yourself? And I think. Okay. It, it's temporary. Okay. It's temporary. All right. So, so even okay. if he stops the purchasing, I just worry because even if you still are there in the relationship, he's still not feeling good about himself. How are we going to get okay. this man feeling better about himself so he can be better to his partner? Buy her something. Okay. Buy the kids something. Okay. Instead, of, if you're selfish, turn it around and okay. do the opposite. So okay, here it is right here. Have you thought about leaving him? You have. Mm -hmm. Sir, let me ask you a question. How would your life be if she left you? We've been in two separate households for a while now already. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
See, it's a see, yeah, what didn't happen, sir? Yes. She didn't got sick and tired of being sick, sick and, and tired. tired. Amen. She right there. <laughs> yeah. Everybody know yeah. that moment. Yeah. We've all had that moment yeah. where you yeah. with somebody, you just sick and tired of being mm. sick and tired. Yes. Now you live in separate households. Yeah. We will send you to a therapist and pay for it. Oh man, would you go to therapy? Yeah, I would, Steve. I appreciate that. Oh. All right, Steve. we'll do that for you. Hey, thank y'all for being here. I hope it all works out.